Hi, this is Lars with Road Bike Rider, and today I'm going to tell you about the difference between a mid-drive motor e-bike and a hub-drive motor e-bike. Now, uh, this is a bike from KBO. It's in the $1,400 to $1,500 range, and this is a bike from Avidar, and it's in the $2,200 range. This one is a mid-drive motorbike, and this one is a hub-drive motorbike. Now, what you noticed first off is the difference, is one of the differences, that a mid-drive motor, it's a more expensive system. Now, what, what, what I mean by mid-drive, this is the motor right here, and the motor is going to help power the cranks, which then powers the bike. So, why does that make it good or bad? Several interesting things. Uh, when you put the motor right here, it's got a low center of gravity, so it's down low, and it's also in the center of the bike. So, you're also in the center of the bike. It makes the bike feel more like a normal, regular bicycle because the, the front and rear balance is the same. So that's one advantage of a mid-drive motor is that uh, it's gonna feel more balanced both when you pick it up, but also when you're riding around with it, uh, that it just feels like a bike. When you're maneuvering around with it, it feels just like a bike that you're used to. Uh, a mid-drive motor, I believe is a more efficient solution. So you're gonna have a little bit more motor efficiency the way it works. Uh, now, what about a hub drive motor? Now, a hub drive motor is part of the wheel. And so here it is right back here. Uh, that means that the weight, instead of being underneath you, it's further back here. So it makes the front end of the bike feel a little lighter and the back feel heavier. So when you're maneuvering around, it, it feels different. And that's not a big deal. I mean, it, it's you get used to whatever you want to ride. So if your budget is lower, there's, there's nothing wrong per se with a hub drive e-bike. It's just, mid-drive is the, the next level up. Another advantage, disadvantage, uh, mid-drive versus hub. Now with the mid-drive, since the motor's right here, if you get a rear flat tire, you can just take off the wheel like any other regular bike and it's easy to change the flat. Whereas this one, the motor is part of the wheel and it's connected here and so it's more complicated to deal with the flat uh, so you'll you'll want to keep that in mind you want to make sure that if you get a hub drive e-bike that uh, you got good tires that way you don't have to worry about flats most of the time in fact the KVO does have very good tires as as does this one too so as far as riding it, in my experience, with a mid-drive bike, it feels smoother, it engages smoother, it, it feels more natural, it feels like, oh, you sort of have extra power in your legs, but it's a lot like riding a regular bike, and uh, it feels like you accelerating, but wow, I'm feeling really good today. Whereas, a hub motor, you start to pedal a little bit and then the motor engages and you feel it go whoa, whoa, and, it, and like it, there's a little bit of torque to it and then you sort of feel the, the motor kick it in. And the same thing when you stop pedaling, the motor will run for a, a half second and, it'll, whoa, and then it stops and it recognizes, oh, you're not pedaling anymore and it turns off. So. It does not feel as smooth, uh, and that's going to be another difference. But 
overall, in the end, you know, it's an electric motor, it's powering your bike. Uh, how many watts you have is gonna tell you how powerful the bike is. Uh, you know, if it's a 250 watt motor, if it's a 500 watt motor, uh, that's gonna give you either 250 watts or 500 watts of power. And, and you can feel the difference between these power levels. And also uh, you wanna pay attention to what the top speeds are on some of these bikes. Some of them are limited at 20 miles an hour, some of them are limited at 25 miles an hour, and some of them are limited at 28 miles an hour in the United States. So hopefully that's helped you see sort of what the difference is between a mid-drive motor and a hub-drive e-bike.